Hi, welcome to Storytime. Last week, we began our journey through the It's All About Jesus Bible Storybook. So we are going to be continuing through the book of Genesis today. We are going to learn about why and how God created people. So let's read. On the sixth day of creation, remember last week we read about the first five days of creation. So on the sixth day of creation, God made people. God created people differently than anything else. That's why we get a whole story about it. God created people in his very own image. God took dust from the ground and made a man. God breathed his very own breath into the man and the man became alive. God made a garden in the land of Eden, and he put the man in the garden. God told the man to work in the garden and to take care of it. See him taking care of the garden? God provided food from the trees for the man to eat, and God provided a river to water the garden. Then God said, you can eat from any of the trees in the garden, except for one. The garden had a tree in it called the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God warned the man, if you eat from that tree, you will die. <clears throat> now God was not yet finished with creation. He saw the man and said, it's not good for the man to be alone. So God decided to make a helper for the man. God brought to the man the animals he had created, and the man gave names to all of the creatures, but none of the animals was a good helper for the man. So God made the man fall fast asleep. He took one of the man's ribs, and he created a woman. When the man saw the woman, he, he was very happy. The woman was a perfect helper for the man. She was his wife. The man's name was Adam, and his wife's name was Eve. God gave Adam and Eve good things. He put them in charge of the animals and provided everything they needed. God looked at everything he had made, and it was very good. God had done everything he planned to do. So on the seventh day of creation, God rested from his work. And it's really important that we see that God works but he also rests, and so we can too. So God created people. How? Do you know how we, how people are like God? Yes, we are made in his image. We are made to look like God. But how are we different? Do you know? How are we different than God? God knows everything. He knows everything good, everything bad. He knows it all. And we, we don't have all that knowledge. So we need God. We need God to show us the way and to show us right from wrong. But how did Jesus show that he was man and God? Well, let's read about him. So God created man, and man and woman, in his image, in his very own image. Adam was like God in some ways but he was not a perfect representation of God. God sent his son, Jesus, to show us exactly what God is like. Jesus is the perfect representation of God because he is God. So he, he is God, and so he reflects God perfectly, and he came to live as a man so he could show us how we can live. So boys and girls, Let's pray and ask God to help us, to help us reflect him well, to help others see God as well. And to